guys hi guys so it's been a long time that i haven't prepared any videos sorry about that i was little much busy with my office work so i decided to continue on one of the series that i prepared long time back that is to override the feature of alert box so if you have not seen the previous video of this alert feature then i would strongly recommend that you should see all the playlist videos related to this article and then proceed with this video so later on this uh, after the video has ended i will provide you proper url where you would see the list of videos which has happened previously enough talking let's get started so till now we have a folder with the name alert and these are the folders that we have downloaded the color box plugin and another jquery plugin in order to do that so if i you could see that we have index.html file so if i run this file in my browser let's see what happens you could see that the error is oh sorry about that mm -hmm. so let me save this file and let me yeah so you could see that in our console tab you could see that this file is not being found right so in order to fix this error uh, if you want to see this open the chrome browser then right click go into inspect and then on the console tab so here you will see the error so it says that inside the css it was expecting that there would be folder with the name images but if you see our structure our images folder is outside of css so if i bring back inside of css and then if I refresh this page again and there we go we don't have any error right now okay so I have opened index.html file in my sublime text so for simplicity purpose uh, in my previous video I have uh, explained you each and every step how to download the color box plugin and jquery plugin go ahead and see that uh, now let's start of overriding of alert feature so for the save of the time i have already written some code which i am now going to copy paste it so first you need to create a space in a web document where the contents of the alert should go so let me copy and paste here so you could see that we have a dev container with the name of subscribe and here is the styling right so this is little bit of styling uh, i have also prepared one css tutorial in my playlist you can go and check out so this is just the normal style which will uh, look the alert box pretty so the next i am going to write the javascript of overriding the alert feature so let me just copy and paste this okay so when in the web page document everything is ready and everything is loaded then go ahead and execute the code which is inside this function block so you could see that i am overriding the alert feature uh, so this is window dot alert and then alert expects whenever you do javascript alert it accepts alert and the data which you want to alert so here is the parameter which would contain the string so you could see that at the top we have defined a div with the id of subscribe and we are selecting the subscribe here and we are putting whatever the user has been provided with the parameter so we are putting the data inside this div through javascript since it is display as none so i am showing the div 
now in order to call the color box color box is just a pretty pop-up plugin uh, which it displays in a which it displays information in a pop-up so in order to call the color box you have to use dollar dot color box this calls the color box plugin function which is included here and inside it you have to provide some properties so i am defining the width to be 50 percent inline to be true and href here it is important because this subscribe and this subscribe is related to each other so now this is actually the contents inside this subscribe button would definitely show it in a pop-up so this is a event on closed so when the pop-up shows there would be a close button so when you close it then uh, I'm just going to because here we are showing it so that display none would be display as block and the data would be shown on the web page and as soon as you close the color box automatically this div would be again hidden so when the user clicks on again then it will show this data again so you could see that this is a javascript alert functionality and here we are providing alert of this data this is a test okay so this is just the small code which overrides the alert feature uh, which is provided by javascript so let me create one more page to show you if we don't have this code how it will look like okay so i will save this file as let's suppose index1.html and i will save it so i will just copy and paste this code and i will not include anything i will just have the proper structure of the javascript So if I save this file and if I save this file, so let me first run the index1.html. So I have used the same alert here also and same alert here also, but you could see the difference right now, how it will look like. So if I open this in any of my browser, you could see that this is the default alert box if we don't have written any code against it so we are not overriding the feature of alert here as soon as we do the override feature of alert uh, since this alert is called when the page is loaded so it will automatically show one pop-up you could see that a pop-up is shown right so a pop-up is shown and this is the data that we have so in this way you can change the look and feel of the alert box right so to show you that it is definitely working in some another case so i will write this is a test sentence and if i save it and if i run this again and you could see that the data is also changed this is a test sentence and if we run the index1.html then it's a different alert box that is coming out hope this clears little bit about it if not go ahead and watch this tutorial again i know this was quick but we have just uses the color box plugin functionality to display the pop-up and on closed we are just hiding uh, this div so if I comment this out, let me show you why I have to do this. These are basically callbacks or the events. So color box has different types of events. So if you go into official site of color box, so if I navigate into callbacks, so you could see that when the color pop-up is opening, then on open you can target and you can write the code when any content is loaded on the dev then you can fire this so i am targeting on closed callback so if i comment this out 
and then again if I run this you could see that okay everything is coming out but I when I close it okay then it's not needed I don't know what happened but earlier it was not hiding this dev when I closed it so just see this is a sentence is coming out but it was not hiding oh I think so I have not saved it let me save it and then again if I run it and if I click close there we go on the web page also we have written something but this is not needed that is why on close I was hiding that dev hope this clears the doubt and if you have more doubt just comment it out uh, uh, I will definitely help you out and uh, you can look back into all the previous videos how we set up the color box and jQuery and then you are good to go with this tutorial thank you everyone for watching have a nice day bye